any nicer than this. Second to none. Oh. Wes, I owe you a thousand dollars. Yo, what's up? Before we get into today's video, just want to let you know this video is sponsored by First.Shop. Actually, save 10% on your order. Use the coupon code CARDSGOHERE in one word, and uh, you get 10% off store-wide at First.Shop. So only for you guys watching this video. Now enjoy this beautiful commercial we put together for you. Cards go here. And here. And sometimes here. They go here, here, and here. But most importantly, cards go here. No matter where you go, take your playing cards with you. Available now at first.shop. Yo, what's up? Just thought I'd take you through a day of what's going on in the office today. I don't know why. I haven't vlogged in a while and I thought, why not pick up the camera, give you guys a little bit of an inside scoop of what happens here at the office, what the boys are working on, and what we got coming up. So hit the like button, subscribe. What's going on? I'm looking for the, the chip, Eric's chip. Oh. <laughs> that's why it's beeping. Well, that's beeping one of these chip. versions. So what happened? I don't know. I think Eric. Put a, it's like one of those dying battery beeps. It just yeah. beeps at random times. And I, yeah. don't know, I, I don't want to be part of it anymore. Eric a few days ago came by the office and apparently there's like this little beep going on that's annoying everybody. So they're looking, they're spending their time looking for this uh, device that's beeping right now. In this, we're gonna have a hard time though. Yeah, it's one of those things too. I know it's one of those things that when you get close to it, it stops. It's very small. Yeah, yeah those things are like super tiny. Yeah, well. Alrighty, what are you working on? Are right, those working on the podcast. Dude, look at that. Is that 4K? What is that? It's a eight, what is it, high quality ProRes? Beautiful. Dang. Got those multi angles. Look at these guys. Ooh. I've never taken you behind the scenes of our podcast here. This is our podcast space. Let me turn the lights on here. It's actually pretty dope. Boom. Look at this. Shoot. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Wes Barker and I have a podcast called Bottom of the Barrel. We've been doing it for over a year and this is it. This is our space where we get to chat. And it's it's adult content, not gonna lie, it's not. You know, we talk magic, we talk puzzles, we talk pranks and heists and all sorts of stuff. We're big fans of comedy, so it's not uh, it's not a safe place for kids, but if you guys as adults wanna come check it out, feel free. These are cool too. The problem with DSLRs, they stop recording at 30 minutes. At 29 minutes, like a law with cinema cameras. Because cinema cameras are so much more expensive, but DSLRs stop recording at like 30 minutes. So we purchased these, which were about 1200 bucks a piece which is cheaper than a cinema camera. But what these allow you to do basically is record the viewfinder and there's an SSD back here. So I can record indefinitely. This is plugged in on these things and that's what we did. Yep, so we got that going on. Artie's currently editing the podcast. These guys are looking for this weird device and this, um, so you guys saw this is the puzzles we tackled this week, which were these Lego puzzles by Cheat3. All sorts of little cool Lego puzzles. So Lee and my brother are basically setting up an intro. We got the little, this is an essential. This is a smoke machine, little fog machine that we use a lot in a lot of our intros. We got some of these aperture lights. Aperture lights are always dope for mood lighting. We got some of this rubber money. Looks super trippy, but I guess they're using it for like a background or something. Some other things we got going on. I'll give you guys a sneak peek at some stuff. This is cool. This won't be the final product, uh, but basically we have these tuck cases. I ripped this tuck case apart, so it's kind of ripped here, but we're gonna have full tuck cases that are not glued. They are going to be signed. And this is basically a display that you can display them on. And these are numbered from zero to 100. So there's only 100 of these out there. And we'll put those up uh, probably next month. Be on the lookout for that. You guys want to see something hyper exclusive that I probably shouldn't even show you. Maybe I'll show you just this. Check that out. That's, uh, that has to do with the escape room that we're building. I'm getting a call. My brother's just out picking up lunch. So the escape room that we're building right now has been in the works for over a year. We worked with a company called Immersive Tech. And basically these guys specialize in building escape rooms that are high tech and immersive, hence the name. So they've been building an escape room for me out in Vancouver, like over a year now. We've been in development. I don't know any of the puzzles in the escape room. I've simply been on board for the design and the look and the feel and everything else and the general story. But all the puzzle and stuff like Antoine's been uh, chatting with them but this thing's going to be next level. We're talking like six figure investment into this escape room. So 
<sighs> Makes me nervous, but it's gonna be one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest things to happen on this channel, and here's where it's going. Inside here, inside this secret room that has a secret door, the fingerprint scanner, it's gonna get echoing here. We took off the shelves, and this whole place is going to be uh, turned into an escape room, and I won't, uh, I won't give you any more details until it's done, which will happen soon. Give it a few weeks. Did you find it? Is that what it looks like? Is that the device? This is what they're looking for. Eric implanted somewhere into the office. How do you think the battery's gonna last on it says that? Three years. It says what? Three years yeah, of chaos. Awesome. I'm, I'll, I'll hit up Eric. I'll make sure we get rid of that. That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Oh, they're trying to find Eric's device because apparently the battery lasts for three years. <laughs> it's West, by the way. Wes came over. I didn't hide anything. Came to film some podcasts. He comes by twice a month. Film four podcasts. But what are you guys doing right now? I'm trying to set up my card sales. For what? For my second to none deck. When's that coming out? February 2nd. February 02, 2nd. 02. You're launching your own playing cards? First time ever. You want to give people a sneak peek? I'll have them. <laughs> That's such a bad pitch. Oh, brother's here. What's up? Lunch is here. All right, see the cards, Wes. <laughs> bit of a parody on the first playing cards. Bit of a parody. <laughs> <laughs> Straight what, up parody. What makes you say that? These are second to none, Chris. <laughs> second to none. Feels crazy on my own deck of cards. It does, right? Oh yeah. Right, let's show them what these cards. Look at the inside of the tuck case too. <laughs> yeah, that's the cool. That's the really cool part. Look at that. Nice. Second to none. Ooh. See the backs. Hold on, hold them there. Ooh, look at that. Those are actually pretty nice, man. And they feel they feel oh, really well. So good. Yeah. So excited. February 2nd. Woo! Second to none launching. Antoine's helping him. Antoine's helping him set up pricing right now and shipping rates and all that stuff, right? I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. I like how Wes comes here, just like copies my deck, uses my friends to work for him. Yep. There's gotta be some benefits to being your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. FaceTime Eric LeClaire is not answering. Where do you think you put it? I don't know, just ask him. Where you put it? I don't know. You're so bad at lying. I'm not. Tell me. I didn't see him do it. I'm gonna go find it. All right, here we go. Oh, did you hear it? It's going beep. I think it's in the sound panel. Do you hear that? Hold on, let me set something up. Oh. There it is. <laughs> Annoyatron. Oh, that's annoying. Isn't that annoying? Oh, yeah. I feel like barking. Eric, you gotta come up with a better prank, dude. It's pretty funny though. We referenced this on the podcast. He's like, oh, I got something for Chris. Is that what he said on the podcast? Yeah. yeah. So I got something for Chris. You go, I'll tell you after it. Like, and I thought it was gonna be so good. <laughs> and then he's like, he's like, it's this thing. I'm like, what? All right, lunch time's over. Good luck, boys. Should we get to filming? Yep. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Hang. Dude. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> so these are our puzzles for the day. What's the idea here? We're going with like a maze runner-ish, big walls, epic look. Okay. It's gonna be pretty fun. We got a couple props out. Okay. Figure something out. All right. Add some smoke. You can get the probe lens. We can, yeah, after, but for the Lego. And then this, like, they're gonna move this way. No light's gonna come through here. Oh. I think that's our initial shot. Cool. This is what we do a lot of the times. We we hook up basically. We have the puzzles. We sh normally shoot the B-roll before, sometimes after, depending on like what timeline we're playing with. These ones look simple enough, so we're deciding to shoot them before and take some time. That way, I can just set up afterwards and start solving them. But Lee and my brother Manuel, they basically take care of doing all the intros, stories, especially for like the smaller puzzles, the bigger ones. Uh, we all get involved and kind of have a bigger production behind them. But these ones these guys love getting creative and coming up with really cool you know intro shots and you know everybody has their own little ideas and that's what's fun you can get creative with like these tiny little things instead of just shooting them in slow motion you know now they're coming up with a story like oh maze runner will have a dude running through these built because they look like buildings and it's just kind of cool and it keeps it spicy and creative for us you know that way it's not so boring everybody thinks working here is amazing we have boring days too no very boring days it's mostly amazing most, yeah. <laughs> Brother's like, it's mostly amazing. Oh, look at that light. This, by the way, my favorite thing ever, this is aperture light. Check this out. Look at this color right now. Like you can set this up to like have mood lighting. It. What's it at, like 10% right now? 25. 25, like this thing gets really bright, but you can set up 
Uh, all the lights. Oh my god. Ah, so bright. Do all the colors. So for mood lighting, it is really dope. You also have effects and stuff you can do on this thing. This is an aperture light. What's it called? This is the Nova P300C. These things, by the way, are something we use all the time. So not only do we use like the little apertures, but these are really cool. You have so many different colors. We got like 10 of these and we got like smaller ones, but you can have them be warm. You can do red. You can do all these colors, but they add such a cool mood light. And so when you place it up against the wall, like it gives you like a nice mood, right? So if you were to film here, you would have this nice sort of moody light right here. And the shadows are even purple on that thing, which is dope. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, <laughs> Arthur, they're coming. <laughs> Dude, Arthur is so immersed in the editor. Yo, that is awesome. Yo, that's sick. That looks awesome. Certainly. Oh my God. <laughs> it's getting there. Yo, the reflections though. Yeah, it's like, Dude. I, uh, I have to work on it. No, so sick. Love that. Yeah, boy. Arthur, not only editing Bob, all the gaming videos, all the shorts <laughs> for Bob, but also making amazing thumbnails. Trying. So if you guys are not subbed to my second channel yet, go check it out. That's all of Arthur's work, basically. So go look into it. These are all puzzles recently that people have been sending me that I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, so I do get your puzzles. I just don't get to solve them all the time because we got a lot going on. Let's see where the boys are at. What do you guys setting up? Yeah, slider. Probe needs a lot of light in because it's a macro, because the probe lines are getting in so close that uh, any mild amount of shaking will show up on camera. So that's why you need the slider in this case. You can't handheld a probe lens. It just doesn't uh, doesn't look good. A lot of work for one shot, which is the case in a lot of these intros. It's just a lot of setup for like a one shot thing. But for those of you thinking like, oh, you know, like we're not going out of our way. We're staying in the office. Obviously the equipment we have is expensive and there's some stuff that, yeah, but we would make do if we didn't have it. And we did make do for years without having this equipment. So it's all about just having an idea and then having the right equipment to execute that idea. You know, thanks to everyone who's subscribed to the gaming channel, by the way, this is our setup. YouTube sent me that. Thanks, YouTube. What a beast. Blade Runner concept poster. One of my favorites. Ex Machina. One of the dopest movies ever. That's where we got these little lights here. These ones. So they're like the longer ones, but we put them for mood lighting in back here because they can light up the wall. Those are pretty cool too. For those of you wondering, still unsolved, uh, the hazmat puzzle. It's been sitting here for like, I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. It's probably been a year. It's got dust on it and stuff, but basically this thing sits around and people have at it. And I've, I've, uh, I've thrown a challenge out to all my friends and everybody that works here. If you can solve it, I'll give you a thousand dollars. So at this point, like I'm, I've put probably 24 hours into trying to solve this puzzle. So it stays here and it's kind of like a tabletop piece that everybody just tries to take their shot at. A lot of fun. Oh, you want to see something cool? It's a Euler's disc. Check this out. This thing will spin. So it's it's basically made to lose the least amount of energy possible while spinning. It's just a heavy metal disc that turns and the kinetic force, the weight of it and the flat surface allows it to keep kind of spinning like a coin would. Uh, but this goes on for like two or three minutes. How wild is that? Still going. It's like speeding up and getting louder. Wait for it. Wow. We had to move the ping pong table as well because uh, we're receiving for this escape room that's coming up, we're getting eight pallets. So a truck's delivering eight pallets that we're gonna have to build that escape room for like a week. A gift from my friends over at Art of Play made by Felix Year, one of the puzzle crafters that we love here. He actually made this, the monolith. This monolith puzzle right here. Metal worker, amazing creator made an amazing chess set. Check this out. This is CNC'd. These are brass. They're heavy. It's got a little felt on the bottom. They're absolutely beautiful. Check out the different pieces. Here's the knight. Isn't that pretty? So this is super heavy. And the chessboard itself 
is also made of like solid metal. Just a beautiful piece. Kind of pricey, obviously, because this is all hand like CNC made. And you know, there's only a certain limited number amount of these that are out there. So I think they run for about 3,500 pounds. which is about five, six grand for this chest set. But we're gonna get a nice little spot to set this up. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you're a fan of chess boards, I mean, it doesn't get any nicer than this. All right, so Lee's all set up. You got the probe lens and it's going to shoot this little guy through these two little buildings. Whoa, that is dope. Here's the final shot. Wesley, I bought this beer mug and it's a magic trick. Can you keep, hold on. Why oh, is this so bright? You're just so white. I'm a human white balance. <laughs> You're a human LED. Uh, can you film? Yeah. This is, a, this is a real, like, this is real, you can confirm that. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll see if this works. I don't know if this will work. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that is cool. That's this, really. This cool. isn't breakaway glass either. This is real glass. So watch yourself. That is Yo. great. That is so cool. Whoa. Clean up on aisle two. <clears throat> it's not all fun and games. Okay, hold on a second. We got some breaking news that just happened. Uh, literally, I mentioned this in the vlog, which is funny. Oh, did you? Yeah. And Wes has been here. He's given it like five hours. Yeah. He just can't and I just sat down and just did it for like 30 more seconds. Yeah, but where's the, uh, the other piece? That's what I thought. There's so I nine like, pieces, dude. I didn't celebrate because I thought I was missing a piece. <laughs> Let's go! Dude, dude, that's one of the hardest puzzles in the world, dude. Doesn't make me smart, just I makes me lucky. <laughs> that's crazy! Take a picture of it. I took a picture. Oh, yeah. no, I got wow, sick! That, ladies and gentlemen, is the solution to the hazmat puzzle. Congrats! That is it. You did it. That is one solution out of like 13 million. Jeez. I mean, I'm super smart. Got that big brain on me. Yo! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, We've been on this for months and Wes just comes here. Lee, Lee, you got that footage that you showed me earlier of him just solving it on, like you filmed on your phone? Yeah. Can you send that to me? I'm gonna put it in the vlog. Yeah. Yo, Wes, I, I owe you a thousand dollars. Yes! CAD. Always. <laughs> I was super skeptical. Antoine's mad because he wanted the grand. Dude, I legit, I'm in shock right now. I feel like there's a piece missing, but I counted. There's nine pieces. You're good. That's it. We were hanging out here the other night and Wes had put so much time into it, like hours while we were just jamming. We kept passing it around. Dude, this has been literally here forever and people have tried. And although it looks simple, that that's it, man. You found the one solution to this puzzle, dude. This doesn't make any sense. I would never, could be here another year and never done that. The puzzle champ has returned, ladies and gentlemen. That's crazy. Antoine is so mad right now. Don't, don't. <laughs> I don't and know. I was sitting over there <laughs> And I'm like, what do you, and I'm like, uh, oh, did you get, how do you do on that puzzle? And you're like, oh yeah, it's done. And I'm like, what do you mean it's done? He's like, yeah, it's done. And I was like, you're bullshitting. And I got up and went to see, and I was like, okay, where's the missing piece? Yeah, I could never do it again. I, I literally don't even know what I did. I just sat down and went. Well, we got it on camera, so you did. <laughs> Wes Barker, go, go sub to him. Smartest man alive right here. Enchanté.